So here's my VacForm apparatus. It's something uh, that I got from, I think, Micromark. And it's the kind that's used in um, like demo offices and things, or, or, or not demo offices, some place where you don't need a huge, massive industrial strength thing. Here's my little canopy ready to go. I cemented a piece of balsa wood in there to give it a step and to raise it above the, uh, the floor of the little back former so that the plastic will hopefully go over it and around it. It's also in there to help support that break because that is a, you know, between that gray and the white, there's a crack there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here like so. And um, I use some plastic. You got, I found that you got to use the right kind of, this is coated and you take those blue parts off. But you have to get plastic that's the right thickness um, and is, is made for vac form, at least as I've seen. I tried doing it with little pieces of like, you know, Christmas ornament boxes and things and it doesn't seem to work well for me anyway. Your mileage may vary, but what I'll do is set the thing up, um, get a different lens, set it up, and then I'll uh, go through the process and hopefully it'll work first time. Alrighty, so what we'll do is pull off this plastic, this light blue stuff, somehow. And I'll expose the nice plastic that we're going to use, the clean plastic. And what we'll do, I've got the piece in the vac machine already. And what I'll do is I will start by um, assembling this thing. And to assemble it, you just put your piece of plastic in like this. And then you put this down so that it sort of clamps it in place. That holds it. Um, then what we're going to do is this gets lifted up. And then this is a heating element. And this gets put over like this to get heated. And then we just, once it's heated, there's a button down on the bottom of this thing that turns on the vacuum. And that should suck the thing right down. So. What we're going to do is I got to get a handle for this to make it the right way, make it make it work easy, and then we will um, see what happens. Okay, I'm going to turn on the heater, which heats up. There's an element inside here. And I'm just going to lay it over, set it over the top of the plastic, and it should heat up now. I mean, it will heat up. The, the key is how long do you let this stuff, let the plastic start to sag, start, or how long let it heat up. What I found is it'll start to wrinkle in there, and you can't see it, but I'll have to tell you what's happening. Um, it starts to wrinkle, and when it droops, it droops down pretty low. So you see it drooping down in here. I can feel the heat right now. You feel it droop, see it droop down, and when they get a nice droop, a pretty good, a pretty good gap. I'll try to pull the camera down so you can see it. Um, then you're ready to go ahead and turn on the vacuum and let it go. So we just gotta let this thing warm up, and it's doing a good job already. Um, trying to get a running commentary, but the plastic is slowly heating up. It's looking good, and. It's just got to sink all the way down. And it's starting to change shape right now. It's starting to drop. So it's almost ready to sort of do its thing. But it has to get real hot. And it has to sink. And what I'll try to show is, I'll try to show the piece of plastic as it's sunk. It's getting there, it's starting to droop. It's already starting to droop. And once it starts to droop under here, it really goes fast. So I don't have the right lens in here, but can you see that it's really starting to droop right in there? I don't know if you can, but there's plastic drooping down there. So I'm almost ready to try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a whirl. It's definitely drooping, so keep on.
So now you've got this all covered. The, the, the wood did what it was supposed to do. So it held it and it so but it's not um, um, you know the, the vac form part went around. My canopy did not collapse. So what I'll do is take this apart, bring it inside, and we'll see if we can cut this out with a fresh X-Acto blade and we'll test fit it and see how it looks. So here it is brought inside. You can see there's a lot of waste actually, but my little piece of balsa held the canopy mold above where it uh, needed to be. And so it's strong enough that it actually pulls the plastic underneath the mold a little bit. So the rest of this is just a lot of very careful trimming I cut it out of the backing first, but then I end up taking a, this is a brand new, fresh X-Acto blade that would, you know, cut your arteries out just looking at it. Uh, but that is what you need, or something, the equivalent, um, to get this thing to be released. Because it's just a lot of, at this point, it's, it's really glommed on to the mold. And you have to go around the edge very carefully. The key, however, is you don't cut through it completely. When you're cutting plastic like this, I mean, I did this when you're making vacuum-formed models, too. You don't need to cut through the plastic completely. What you do is score it a few times, and then you sort of bend it, and then it comes out pretty easy. But you got to be really careful. Um, you know, in this case, uh, I'm just trying to very carefully go around the edges and sort of trim... Um, everything that I see and I'm using the the, 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 the molded canopy and the, like there's the door frame I'm using that all as a place to cut now when you do finally get this thing off and out um, the edges will not be precise they will not be beautiful you've got to go back and sort of sand them back down almost flat and cut things very very carefully just take off little bits at a time until you end up with a nice flat sort of planar um, openings because what you'll have are lips of plastic um, especially because I said this vacuum form machine seems to suck the plastic right down and 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 underneath I mean that's something that's always they say about vac form is that's what it doesn't do you got to be really careful about that because it won't go underneath well this one bloody heck it goes underneath pretty easy and um, you know I Maybe my plastic is really nice and thin. I don't know. Um, but see there, I'm kind of pulling it. I haven't, didn't, haven't need to cut through it at all. Just kind of carefully go back and forth and around. And right back there, I'm kind of nervous. So I'll cut a little, little extra couple pieces here. But when this comes out the first time, it is far from, um, it is far from uh, ready to go. So here I'm just speeding up a tiny bit, but... It's just a matter of carefully trimming, and um, at this point now I got it pretty close, and I'm trying to sort of, it's almost like, it's like, it's, it's, it's stuck onto the mold, not physically stuck like stick them, but you got to sort of get it like an air pocket in there before it'll come off. So using a toothpick is the best idea, a piece of metal is not such a good idea, but you um, kind of peel it off and um, kind of slide underneath and you keep doing this around the edge and you want to be very careful because the plastic is pretty resilient you also don't want to ruin your mold what if this didn't work uh, but there i got there i got underneath the main piece and the canopy came off and this is fine it's ready to make another run if needed uh, no problem and it actually looks pretty good when it's all trimmed and, and fit, I'll dip it in future floor wax or equivalent clear clear acrylic wax, and then it will um, look even clearer and it'll get rid of some of the minor blemishes. Um, but, you know, taped and painted and attached on there, that's going to look great. And, and you consider that uh, it was a short shot canopy and it was, a, it was pretty horrible. Now we've rescued it um, with just a little bit of, little bit of work. And so, you know, that's something to remember. You can usually come back from pretty nasty things with these models, paper models, plastic models, um, if, you, if you practice and have the right techniques. But this worked, um, you know, really slick. So now this next series is after I've trimmed it. I've sanded it, I've trimmed it. And you can see here, you know, 
putting a little pressure on it, almost all the seams disappear. There's that little piece up by the window there, by the door, that isn't quite tucked in. But that won't matter one iota. When things are painted and everything, it'll look fine. Um, and again, with it... Um, I am too close right there. That's better. Um, when you uh, actually look at it and when it gets glued in place, uh, the idea will be to glue it in such a way to get rid of all of those little seams, those little openings. But you can see how nice it looks. And this door will be open. So even if there's some little problems, you won't notice them. I mean, it, it's fantastic. So now I have a nice new canopy. And that was, I mean, lucky, but it was one shot. And it turned out great. And that's the one I'm going to use. So like I said, next thing is make a radio and get this thing cleaned up.